We're gonna do something a little different today. One day my car interior lights started flickering while I was driving and now my car thinks the driver's side door is open all the time. This resulted in me living with no interior lights, the stupid alarm would go off in the middle of the night, dead batteries, and the door open sign would stay on even when I was driving. So I don't know what the exact problem is, but after Googling and asking questions in car forums, I narrowed it down to about three things. One, it needs to be cleaned. It's very possible that something spilled on the electronics in my door. Two, it needs a new door sensor. I ordered this part from my local dealership. And three, it could be the lock actuator. I decided to hold off on ordering this part until I figure out what the problem is. It's more expensive, so I'm gonna try the other two options first. Okay guys, I got my parts and my tools and hopefully enough know-how to get started. Let's see what's going on. I'm gonna start by replacing the door sensor because it's the least invasive. I only have to remove one Phillips screw, detach the old sensor, and install the new one. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna open my door panel and do some more investigating. Okay, it's the moment of truth. Let's test it out. It totally works. I'm excited, but I'm also like kicking myself for not doing this sooner. It, had I known that it was gonna be a $12 part and one screw, I would have done this a year ago. And had that not worked, I would have moved on, but that worked. And I'm so excited that I tried this out. I fixed a car today. So just try that repair you've been putting off. You never know, you might surprise yourself. 